Hello, everybody. This is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor, welcoming you to this video tutorial on our BCI expected price movement calculator. This can also be used as a user guide for the spreadsheet. Now, this specific spreadsheet is used to establish upper and lower limits for our ultra conservative option trades, and it can be applied to both covered call writing and selling cash secured put trades. Let's first define what is the expected price movement calculator. Well, this is a spreadsheet that will convert implied volatility statistics into 84% probability price ranges for specific expiration dates. Now, into the spreadsheet, we have five entries. All can be accessed through your typical option change. First, the ticker symbol of the stock or exchange traded fund. Then the date of the calculation. Next, the contract expiration date. Next, the price per share. And finally, most option chains also have implied volatility stats, and we tend to use the one for the at the money IV for the specific contract we're looking at. So once again, all five of these data points can be accessed from a typical option chain. Now, what kind of results will this spreadsheet give us? First, it will tell us the number of days to expiration if taken through expiration of that specific contract. Then it will give us the approximate, it's not exact, but it's darn close, price movement up or down during that specific contract. And that will then lead us to the expected approximate price range. And I'm going to show you shortly why that will be an 84% probability of accuracy. I'm not just picking that number out of a hat. There's a rationale behind it. Now, this is in particular a very, very excellent spreadsheet when we're using ultra conservative trades. And I'm going to give you some examples of which type of trades this would be particularly useful for. Now, it will lower our risk significantly. Here I'm telling you that the risk factor is approximately only 16% with an 84% probability of success. So that's pretty darn good. But lowering our risk is in exchange for lower premiums or lower returns. But let me add to lower, but still significant. Okay, so that gives uh, gives you kind of an overview of how the spreadsheet works. Now let's get into the particulars. This is a screenshot of the spreadsheet before entries are made into the white cells. Once again, into the stock ticker, the date, the calculation, the expiration date of the specific trade that you're interested in, enter the price of the stock at that point in time and the at the money implied volatility for that specific contract strike price and then you see that these yellow cells will then become populated or you'll see it uh, coming up shortly and it'll give us the number of days calendar days that is to contract expiration if taken through that day the approximate expected dollar price movement up or down and that will then allow us to calculate the results of the low end to the high end of the price range specific for that contract. Now, the spreadsheet will also give us the formula inherent in it that will convert annualized IV stats, which is what we look at typically when we look at an options chain, into that specific contract uh, number of days. And then the probability of the expected range will be, as I stated before, 84%. So let's now define implied volatility and then we'll get into a specific real life example. Implied volatility or IV is a forecast of that security stock or ETF price movement as implied by options pricing in the marketplace over the next 30 days. Now, some of us may not know that this is based on one standard deviation. That means that the accuracy of this price movement 
is expected to be 68%. That's what one standard deviation means, which means that it's expected to fall outside this range 32% at a time. But I told you that the accuracy is going to be 84%. And I'm going to show you a graphic uh, as to why 84% is, in fact, the approximate probability of success, meaning our risk factor is only 16%. Now, another thing about implied volatility, that it's based on an annual price movement expectation. So let's give an example. Let's say we look at an options chain for the at the money IV and we see 35%. Well, that doesn't mean that the expected movement is 35% up or down for that specific contract. It means that it's expected to move up or down by 35% over the next year, next 365 days. So that's why the, the conversion formula, which is inherent in the spreadsheet, is so important. So we could relate, we can relate it specifically to the contract that we are trading. And so I'm going to show you shortly why we're going to end up with trades that have approximately an 84% probability of success rather than 68%, which is represented by the uh, normal bell curve, one standard deviation. Now, don't worry about this formula. I'm just showing for those of you that are really into math like I am, this is the formula that we use that's inherent in the spreadsheet. I'll just give it to you. And for most of you, just forget about it. It's in the spreadsheet. You don't have to worry about it. But what we do is we take the expected price movement uh, to get that. We multiply the price of the stock by the at the money implied volatility for that specific contract. And here's the tricky part. We then multiply that by the square root of the number of calendar days to expiration divided by 365. There, I said it. Most of you can then just forget it. The fact that it's in the spreadsheet is all you need to know. Okay, so why 84% and not 68%? So here is your uh, standard deviation normal bell curve. And the 68% is represented by the brown field in the middle of the graphic here. Now, if 68% probability of the price of the stock falling into this range based on implied volatility, that means it's expected to be outside that range 32% of the time. But of that 32%, 16 is to the low end and 16 is above the high end. Let's say we're portfolio overriding and we don't want our shares taken away from us. Perhaps we're uh, investing in um, long-term buy and hold securities of a very low cost basis in non-sheltered accounts. And we don't want the price of the stock superseding the out of the money call strike price. Well, if the price of the stock ends up the 16% to the low end, we're fine. We just don't want it to go above the high end of that range, which means we have a risk factor of only 16% and a probability of success of 68% here, plus the 16% to the low end which results in an 84% probability of success. Now, if we incorporate our exit strategies into these trades, where we learn to roll in the money options, that means this, the probability of exercise will then become less than 1%. But I'm just showing you now how these trades are initially crafted such that we have approximately an 84% probability of success or of not getting exercised. Let's first look at the uh, a real life example with Intel Corp, which trades on the NASDAQ exchange under the ticker INTC. And this, uh, this options chain, uh, I took this screenshot on 9-18-23, and you'll notice it's for the October 20th, 2023 expiration. So it's about a month away, a little bit more than a month. And at the time, uh, Intel was trading at 37.88. So if we're going to go out of the money, uh, well, at the money or near the money, we're going to look at the 38 strike, right? Intel trading at 37.88. We're going to look at that near the money 38 strike. And that near the money or close to at the money strike 
had an implied volatility of 31 percent all right keep that in mind now as we go back to the bci expected price movement calculator the white cells are populated ticker intc date of calculation 918 expiration date 1020 price of intel 3788 and the at the money or near the money implied volatility stat 31 percent now once again inherent in inherent in that spreadsheet is that conversion formula which will tell us the following stats first off it'll tell us that if taken through expiration this is a 33-day trade right it will then tell us using the conversion formula that during those 33 days intel is expected to move up or down three dollars and 53 cents resulting in a price range on the low end of 34.35 and on the high end of 41.41 so if we were portfolio overwriting we would select the strike near 41.41 right to have an 84 percent probability of no exercise let me use the word approximately approximate 84 percent probability of not exceeding the strike okay so uh that's how we can value it now if we wanted to go to the low end if we're selling an out of the money care secured put that we don't want exercised we would look for a strike in the range of 34 dollars so we'll get to that also now let's look at an options chain recall that the range was 34 35 to 41.41 as uh, determined by the expected price movement calculator. So if we wanna go to the high end to avoid exercise, we're gonna go to the 42 strike, and you could see that had a bid price of 29 cents. So let's feed that now into the BCI trade management calculator or TMC, by the way, a must for everybody trading covered calls or care secured puts. But th that video is in another section of our website, and we're just gonna mention that that's the spreadsheet I'm using here. So you'll notice that the price of Intel was 37.88. We, we used the 42 strike based on the stats we got from the expected price movement calculator. You saw the bid price of 29 cents. And now let's go to the initial calculations. Based on that 33 day trade, we had a option return of 0.77%, which annualizes out based on 33 days of 8.47%. So it's significant. It's lower than that that we would hope for with traditional covered call writing. But remember, this is for an ultra conservative approach to covered call writing. We don't want our shares exercised and sold. But notice here in the purple cell, because we use such a deep out of the money call option, that we have upside potential of another $10.88 if Intel moved from 37.88 up to or beyond the 42 strike. And once again, let me reiterate, if in fact the option is expiring in the money at expiration or the price is above $42, we could always roll that option. Something we need to plan for because it will happen 16% of the time. All right, let's now go to a real life example with Intel for puts. Now remember, the range was 34.35 to 41.41 based on the expected price movement spreadsheet. So we're gonna look at a deep out of the money cash secured put with a strike in the neighborhood of 34.35. So let's go to the 34 strike over here, which had a bid price of 26 cents. Once again, we turn to the uh, trade management calculator and we put in that information on the top row over here. The bottom row is actually to the left of the top row, but I piggybacked it so you could see everything on one screenshot. And you could see here that the return is 0.77%, very similar to the call, annualizing out to 8.52% based on a 33 day trade. Now you'll notice here in the purple cell all the way to the bottom right, that if it is exercised, if the price drops below the 34 strike and we don't roll the option, well, that means we've purchased Intel at a discount of 10.93% from when that trade was first executed. 
In other words, our break-even price point was 33.74 from the original 37.88. All that data is in the trade management calculator spreadsheet. So where do we get the expected price movement calculator? Well, for those of you who are premium members, it's free. Just go to the downloads resources section on the member site and scroll down to E for expected price movement calculator and you can download that to your device. So it's free to premium members. For those of you who are not premium members, you'd like to access the expected price movement calcula calculator as of October 2023, it will be uh, in the blue collar investor store where you see this second arrow on the screenshot. The first arrow shows you how to access premium membership. So uh, let's summarize now. The expected uh, price movement calculator, we can, we can use implied volatility to establish a specific contract trading range. We must use a conversion formula, which is inherent in the spreadsheet. It's essential because the stats that we get from various vendors is an annualized implied volatility. And that calculated range will have approximately an 84% accuracy rate for the specific trades we're making. And it can be used for ultra conservative approaches to option selling. So we want, may wanna have a deep out of the money call option for portfolio overriding. That's what was inherent in this video. We may wanna use deep in the money calls and use the lower end of the range just to generate cash flow and assure us 84% probability of success or finishing above the break-even price point. Or we may want to sell deep out of the money puts to generate cash flow and not have those shares in fact put to us. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends this video tutorial on the BCI expected price movement calculator, how to establish upper and lower limits of our ultra conservative options trades. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video presentation, but more importantly, for those of you who opt to get this spreadsheet, I hope you not only enjoy it, but benefit from it as well. As always, this is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor. Take care, everybody.